happens when you have communication issues? It's straining. And what happens is we keep holding back those true feelings, those, those true desire to have the kind of relationships that we want. Um, you would agree with that, right? Mm -hmm. So why do you hold back with your mom? Because any conversation that is not menial or peripheral is uncomfortable for her and we get shut down and she doesn't want to have the conversation so I've just, in order to have a good time with my mother and not have stress, I just don't talk about anything that's deep or relevant. It's, it's a peripheral conversation. Okay. Would you say, I call it in my classes, I call it snorkeling or putting on the scuba gear and going down? Yeah, it's snorkeling. So you're snorkeling? Yeah. Would you agree with that? No. Okay, good. Okay, so because your perception is not. Your, your perception is that you do talk about deeper issues. We do. We, we talk about philosophy, about life, about politics, about religion, about the work site when, when either one of us is working, uh -huh. you know, and the politics of that. Okay. And we love it. We go on and on and on. The only time I shut down is when she wants a self-improvement program with me. Uh -huh. It's so, a role reversal. She's the mother and I'm the child. Okay, and yeah, she, but listen, your daughter wants a personal relationship with you. She really does in case, okay, I'm saying, I was going to say it again. She doesn't care about <laughs> your political views or religious views. But, but to be honest with you, she wants a, a very intimate, personal relationship. And I don't want to keep saying she doesn't want to know your views on things. That's not important to her. What's important is having a very connected, very intimate relationship with you. Do you get that? Do you get that that's why she wants to do, in your opinion, personal development with you? That's how you take it though, right? Yeah, I mean, I always thought we had a personal, intimate relationship. Okay, yeah. okay good. And I didn't know the philosophy and work side conversation and so forth was snorkeling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Snorkeling's good. Yeah, and she's we need more. No, we need but it's more. When she, said, she wants to talk about those things. Those are fun, but it's not, it's the basis of your relationship instead of what's deeper underneath it. You know, everybody wants to talk about certain, you know, sure. I don't want to, you don't want every time you get together, you have this deep, deep you know, no. strong, you know, conversation, no. but you're only having snorkeling relationship or conversations. That's, that's what I get from her. And she wants to go a little deeper and then surface and then go deeper and surface. Well, Do I don't know that? what she wants. Okay, well, one thing... I thought we had an intimate relationship. So your version of intimate is different than Carol's. And there's a view that you have that's going to be different than her that you can't bridge. And so when you start to do that, what happens for your mother is she puts up all her guards. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. And <clears throat> because there's, she doesn't know what you want, all she's done is she said, I know that I'm not enough for you. Now I'm speaking... Mm -hmm. Okay, remember I told you intu um, intuitively, so if it's not right, I need you to tell me something. You're hitting it. Okay, got it. And again, have you ever told her that, have you ever used these terms, you know, that, that the conversations aren't, aren't reaching that heart, heartfelt connection that you're looking for? Probably not in those words. <clears throat> I mean, I, you know, I, I have expressed frustration. Is, and... She's, first of all, feeling attacked, okay? Yeah by her personal choices on what she eats, how she, I mean, really, does it matter? That's what nope. I No, what, hold on, I can tell you why it matters. Again, again, Yes. again, it, I'm gonna intuit this. It matters because she wants you around. Right. But that's your control issues, Carol. Control right? issues. Yeah. Those are the things that are coming up for you because she really wants you to leave her alone with that. You know, whether or not she lives another year or she lives another hundred years is not, <sighs> yeah, but see, that's what's happening for you. That's not for you to decide. I know. I'll probably live longer than I, her because know, I, I don't I, stress, I'm, and she does. <laughs> I don't even doubt it. Now, we won't. That's not an intuitive message. Yeah, that's, that's, like, oh, <laughs> that's not good. And I have no. I'm not saying it that way. I'm just being, I'm playing with your mom here a little. But but here's the thing. So that's getting in the way. You know, she doesn't want you to mother her. So if you can if you can work on your control issues of eat what you want. If you have whatever friend she has, that's about her then she can be willing to take those guards down, to take that part of her that's, that's more um, guarded with you on you seeing something. She feels like there's things that you don't like about her. And yeah. agree with I that? agree with that. Here's, here is, and I agree, absolutely, I do have control issues, I know this. Okay, uh, that's my frustration with that is, she's saying, well, I'm overweight, I'm this, I'm that, and this. How should I eat better? She asked me the yeah. questions. So guess what you're, you're gonna have to get disciplined in, mother? 
Remember what Lynn and I talked, you and me and Lynn talked about? That you can't ask me for advice on something that you're not willing to listen for. Do. Thank you. Okay, well, that's good. Happened you, as yes, much I agree with that. Because I found a shop that camouflages my figure, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 70. I mean, I worked hard all my life, and I did my best to raise her with shh. a great sense of self-worth. And there's a little control going on. Did you hear the shh? Yeah. yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah, I What's did. What's happening for you when she does that? I don't know. She just, she, she gets loud. And okay. Well, and her husband doesn't hear well, so maybe she's used to talking at an elevated. Because for me, it bothers me. Right, it's too it's loud not. for me. Mm -hmm. But it well, bothers you because she's talking about things you don't want to have a conversation about. You're like, I don't really care. Don't you want to say that? Oh, she she does this mm -hmm. to me at the really? dinner. What she? Hold on. What she just said or what she was I doing? I want her to care, and she doesn't. I guess. Got it. Yeah. Why do you want her to care? I don't know because I wanted to, to be around. Exactly. Yeah. But have you I ever mean, said I know that? that. To her? Yes, many, many times. Yeah, and I tell her I'm <laughs> going your heart. to be around. Yes, from the heart. I have children. I want her to be around. Great, but you can't control. I'm going to tell you, and okay, you're not going. This isn't going to happen again. I got to remember that I'm intuitive, so people get a little, you know, she could get hit by a bus tomorrow. I know. I know. And and your whole relationship is based upon you monitoring what she's doing or not doing. And that's you, the only time we have an issue. And I that's the only time you have an issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not right. me. I'm going to be really clear. Yeah. True. Her issue is you don't connect to her heart. Because I tell her over and over, I'm going to be fine, honey. Okay. I, you know, I've lived this way all my life. I'm probably the healthiest one in the family. Okay. But listen, she's shaking her head no. no. Now why? You know, healthy to me is not being on a bunch of medications to control blood pressure and That's cholesterol, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. use her as an example. Some of you, you, you know, use her as an example of what you don't want to do then. I know. And I, I have chosen that path for okay, myself. Great. So choose it for you. Nope. Key word here is I, you've chosen it for you. And, and now I, you're going to preach it to everybody to else yes, that listens, right? Yes. Is I want it to Carol? be for her. There are two yes. separate issues here. Mm -hmm. One is you've got to take care of who you are. And if you're around people that are very unhealthy and it becomes very, um, they're coming to you because they need you, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If they're saying, well, can you help me with this? And can you, you know, I'm, I'm ill. And if you were taking care of her because of her choices, I'd be having a very different conversation right now. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, okay. I do. That's not what's happening. So I want you to, do, to deal with your control issues about take care of you and then ask her, wouldn't it be better if you had like some amazing, amazing intimate conversations with your mom that have nothing to do with her health and that she can drop this guard and yes. say, let me in, let me into that place. But she won't drop her guard because she's feeling judged by you all the time. And, and that's true. You do see that, right? I do see that. Okay. I do. So what, what, here's the action steps that Michelle was asking for earlier. I want you to really catch yourself. I want you to catch yourself not only when you're doing it with your mom, but other people in your life. Take care of you. Start really getting the control issues handled, you know, really, really being aware of them. Yeah. Okay. And I know you'll do this. I, I just know you will because I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, June, you here's what I'm going to ask from okay. you. When you start talking about the fluff, which means the snorkeling, and she's asking for you to go deeper. She's saying, I need something more in our relationship. I need to talk about something that's meaningful to me. You're going to have to talk. You're going to have to ask her for it. You're going to have to say to her, I'm really interested in how you feel about something. I want to talk deeper on this subject. Those are the words I want you to use. I want you to be willing. Can Absolutely, you do that? I would. Okay, and when she says, now I feel like you're snorkeling, because we're going to use these terms now. When she does that, are you willing to keep going deeper and feeling it's going to take a little work, but to be safer in your communication? Her being able to be safer in her communication so that she can ask you for what she needs because she really truly needs you to go deeper into the conversations with her, whatever they may be. What